for coming out. Feel free to grab a beer at the uh, bar over here. Uh, thanks for taking 20 minutes out of your time to learn more about Yammer and Microsoft Teams. AKA, they're not the same. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go along. To get started, a little introduction for me. I am an IT service owner at Juniper Networks, where I am the collab content collaboration owner for a bunch of tools you're familiar with and maybe some that you're not familiar with. And I've been a Microsoft MVP for the past three years with a focus on Yammer and Teams and communities. And you can see uh, more about me on Twitter. So the premise of this uh, kind of came around last year when I was working in the Microsoft booth for Yammer, and everybody who came over said the same, same exact thing to me. They had unusual look on their face, and they said, Teams, Yammer, they didn't quite get it. And I think that the reason is that they, if you look just at the post, they're, they're going to get the sense that they are exactly the same, but of course we all know that they're not, and we're going to talk about some of the specific reasons why they're not, and specific features of each of these tools to demonstrate why you would use one or the other for certain use cases. So let's start with the post. It's a Yammer post that we're all familiar with. What does it have? It's got a circular avatar, it's got the person's name, it's got the text with the not mention, and of course, it's got the animated GIF. Uh, it's got a like button, date stamp, edit button, a uh, share controls in Yammer, and a place to reply. Pretty standard stuff. Let's look at the post from Microsoft Teams. Pretty similar, isn't it? Circular avatar the name, the text that the app mentioned, the animated GIF, the like button, the date stamp, the edit button, and the reply. No sharing controls, but if you put these two things next to each other, they look pretty dang similar, don't they? And so it's easy to see why people might be confused if what, why you should use one or the other or think that they can both be equally good for the same use cases, when in fact um, they both have strengths and weaknesses for their specific tasks. So what's the difference? Now, I'm sure what many of you might be thinking, if you, especially if you're an IT pro, you might be thinking that loops, the loops will solve the problem. And this was the diagram that Microsoft heavily publicized last year. They're still using it. And um, for, to talk about how Teams is used for inner loop discussions, how Yammer is used for outer loop discussions, and of course, we have email too. And isn't it great how all the products get an equal share of this pie? But that is not the, real, the realistic um, situation in most companies. And in fact, I think this is what drives a lot of the confusion between Teams and Yammer because many people are coming from a very email-oriented company or background. And in fact, email is often used for those inner and outer loop uh, discussions. Instead of sending a Teams chat message to my team, I might send an email. Hey guys, you need to do this work. Well, that's, that's email, but that is inner loop communications. And you might even have, uh, like my company still does, uh, some interest aliases, email aliases where people are talking about things. It's essentially a communities of interest model that Yammer might be a good fit for as well. So lots of email. This is uh, why people sometimes get confused. So really, which one do I use? Well, let me go through a few uh, specific use cases here and talk about um, why you might use one or the other. So who are you talking with? In Teams, it's people that you know. You're on the same project, you're in your same reporting structure. Uh, if you, you know these people. Whereas in Yammer, you might not know who those people are. You put something out there and say, can anyone help me? And of course, the power of the network in Yammer is that someone who you might even not even know from an office across the globe might be able to help you. Best fit work scenario, task-based and team behavior for Teams. Hey. I need you to do this work, or who can help on this support case? Those kinds of things are great use cases for Yammer. Whereas, uh, for Teams, I should say. And for uh, Yammer, culture change. Let's talk about how we're going to change the company. Let's talk about the next great idea. What kind of uh, issues are you seeing with our customers? Co Cross-company corporate work. Also, message urgency. Those messages in Teams tend to come pretty quick and fast. And the thread lifespan could be hours or days. Now, it's great that Teams stores those conversations and messages so you could get someone up to speed when they join the team, like I had someone uh, join my team earlier this year, or to be able to search for those old messages. But for the most part, once that thread is done, it's done, and you're not going back to it. With uh, Yammer, the messages are less urgent. If I post something in my team 
to my direct reports and the, my team members, I'm going to have a pretty good expectation that someone's going to respond. Or if someone else from my team asks a question, I should respond because we're on the same team together. But if someone asks a question in Yammer, I may answer it or I might not answer it. There's no specific urgency for me to do that because I don't maybe know the person. And those threads in Yammer can go on for days and weeks, sometimes even longer. And I'll show you one of the reasons why that's the case. What kind of people get this? This is really important for IT professionals. If you're trying to sell these tools to your, to your uh, constituents at, at work, it's really easy to sell Slack people on Teams. They know exactly what it is. But if you're trying to sell this to the HR group who maybe never, never even heard of Slack, it's not going to be a good analogy. Uh, likewise, I think that people are used to Facebook. You can make easy analogies with Yammer, and the people that are used to Facebook, it's an easy sell to those folks. Natural enemy. Now, you might think the natural enemy of Teams is Yammer and vice versa, but in fact, the natural enemy is Outlook for both of these. People getting out of their email habits and uh, using some of these new tools that are optimized for certain use cases because we all have drowned in email, haven't we? Um, there's got to be a better way to work. There are a couple here in Office 365 Suite. Now, I've got a whole bunch of technical details, and I'm going to highlight some of the key ones. So can you receive a link to one of these messages? And this is a really important uh, difference. With Yammer, I can copy that date stamp. I, it's a URL I can give to anyone. I can email it. I can send it in a chat message, whatever. They click on it, and they're going to go right into the conversation, assuming it's a public group or some group that they have access to. Uh, with Teams, you can do the same thing. I can get a link, but if that person is not a member of the team, maybe if they haven't downloaded the desktop client, they're going to have a kind of bumpy experience, and they might not be able to see it. So it's super friction-free with Yammer to be able to send a link to someone. And a good example of that might be a, uh, a leadership corner or ask the executives group in Yammer, you know, your executives are probably not hanging out in Yammer all day, but if you're the person who's the community manager of that group, you're going to see that a question has been asked and maybe you know the, exa the right executive to ping. Well, they're going to send them an email and say, hey, you need to respond. It's easy for them to click on that and jump into the conversation in Yammer. Can you share a message to another group? Another really key example with Yammer is if you have a post, you can hit that share button and share that post into another group, maybe a related group. Um, with, with Teams, can't do that. So this is, I guess, a good feature for Teams is all those conversations are going to stay uh, contained in your little Teams area. But um, sometimes for many use cases, you want to be able to share those uh, conversations elsewhere. Both of these tools give you email notifications. In both cases, the uh, fidelity of those notifications is pretty limited, kind of a summary. But with Yammer, if you see the question and it's short enough that you understand what the answer is, you can reply to that email and it sends it into Yammer. This is a super cool feature uh, Teams does not have. Uh, at mention alerting, uh, if I at, men at mention somebody, are they going to get alerted? Teams and Yammer both do this. I I've had some problems, I, I have to be honest. Sometimes I don't get those alerts in Teams, but most of the time it does work. And with Yammer, if I get an app mention, it goes into my Yammer inbox, which as a default setting sends me email if I haven't read it in a, in a, a quick enough time. Can you push the, a message to the entire group? This is really important. I want to make sure everybody sees this without having to hit, tap each, each person on the shoulder. Teams has a really nice feature where you can at mention the name of the team and then it'll send a little activity badge saying, hey, there's something important for you to see here. That's really great, especially if your team has more than a couple uh, handful of users, because it's a pain to at mention every single one of them, right? Uh, with uh, Yammer, you can do something pretty similar using the announcements feature, but you have to be a group owner uh, to do that. So it may not work for every possible person inside the group. Message formatting, if rich text, if markdown, if code snippets are really important, Teams definitely is the winner right now. Next year, sometime, we'll get uh, rich text in Yammer, but for now, it's just plain text. This, of course, is a really important one, documents. When I add a document into the thread in these tools, where does it go? In Teams, it goes into that document library in SharePoint, so you get all the SharePoint goodness. It makes it really effective to be able to collaborate and edit those tools, co-author with other people. And for now, uh, in Yammer, it's going to the legacy, the Yammer storage. Soon, it will be going into SharePoint as well. 
And then lastly, an enterprise view of conversations. Can I go into one of these tools and kind of see what's happening across my company? Well, in Teams, the answer is no. I'm going to see all the, the teams that I'm a member of, and I can check all those messages, and I, tell, I can see which channels have new messages. Uh, but Yammer has a really unique feature, and a really kind of an important one, is that you go in there, and you can see all the updates from your specific groups and catch up with the groups that you're interested in. But you can also go to the home page and see conversations from across the network that are in public groups, uh, and it even has an algorithm that will surface conversations that are popular, lots of activity. This is a great way to catch up and get the pulse of what's happening in your organization. So, uh, really good feature for Yammer. Oh. It's went too far there. Okay. So, uh, this is the, the hero slide for like the best use case that I have for uh, Teams right now. Of course, we, the, the messaging and, and audio video calling is really good too, but just as an example, throw a document into Teams, you can get that chat thread right next to the document where you can do the co-authoring. It's a great way to collaborate with your team members, uh, to prepare work, what do we need to add to this deck, uh, you know, all, all those sorts of use cases. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. This is like the, the superhero feature for uh, Yammer. So when you go into Yammer, you got this feed selector, and I can see discovery, new content from across my network. I can also, if I want to say, see every single post in a public group or a gr group that I'm a member of, I can go through it and I can check them all out, super easy. Or uh, you can choose the following feed, groups that I'm following, people I'm following, that sort of thing. If I just want to see the stuff that's super relevant to me uh, across the network. The other thing that Yammer does is it sends you this very nicely uh, formatted uh, uh, alert email, which tells you, gives you some updates, and I'll zoom in there a little bit. This is great for being able to catch up. If I haven't been in Yammer, I may, may have missed this thread in our Sunnyvale campus, a group, here's an update, I can go in and get more information. Or a couple different posts and threads in our Mac user group. I, if I've had that same problem with McAfee or whatever, I can go in and I can check it out. This is why those threads sometimes come back to life, because if, if I haven't been in Yammer for a day or two, and I get one of these alert emails, now I'm going to go in there and maybe it keeps the discussion flowing for uh, days at a time. I may have a Jeff Teeper moment. My clicker's not working. So uh, choose the best solution for the problem. We all know that if I have a, a, a nail and a piece of wood, any one of these tools could work, right? But we, don't, we know the hammer is the best tool. So, the same goes for the tools that are in Office 365. So uh, if we can have a few minutes left for q and I'd be happy to take any questions if anybody has some. Questions? Yes. Just speak up. Why I cannot use why can you not use enterprise chat in Teams? Yeah, so I have chat in Teams where all my employees are there. I use that as the other chat. Are you talking about uh, teams that might have everybody in your company? Like a team? I'm not getting your question. Maybe we need to talk in, when we can stand closer and it's loud here. Yes? Okay, sorry, I can't hear you either. So I'm gonna close this. Thank you very much for your time and attention. If you wanna come talk to me, come up to me at the top and I'll be happy to answer any questions.